Hey guys, it's out again. Well, we're sitting in the garage in the pickup and we're looking out on the snow that we got from our nor'easter yesterday. Uh, I snow blowed probably about 16 inches, I'd say. Um, so, um, this morning we're going to go look at a boat motor. Um, so, that should be interesting. And, uh, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. I'm uh, noticing a little vibration here with the truck on this seat, the way I got it set up, but uh, my little clampy rig is working pretty good. So let's go for a little ride, and uh, I won't take you along on the whole ride because it's going to be about an hour and 45 minutes, but maybe we'll go up to Boonville. That might be a nice jaunt for you. And then uh, we'll turn you back on when we get closer to where the guy lives. So enjoy the ride. pretty good out here on the main road that's a good sign I went to work yesterday it wasn't very pretty they were uh, probably the worst I've seen them all year so these look pretty darn good Okay guys, we're coming into the uh, thriving metropolis of Boonville, New York. Um, this is approximately 35 minutes north of Utica. 
So if you're on the New York State Thruway and you're driving along and you see Utica, New York, you want to go north about 35 minutes. And uh, not a lot going on in Boonville anymore. Not a lot going on anywhere in New York. But uh, was known for its wood business. Uh, a lot of wood come through this town. It was the hub, basically, for the Black River Canal. And uh, that's what put it on the earth. And they uh, used to ship, uh, you know, wood from the Adirondacks, uh, get it on the Black River Canal, get it down to the Barge Canal, get it down to the Hudson, and um, get it into New York City. And from there, you know, everywhere. So, yeah. Not a, not a lot going on anymore. This is in, this is actually on the uh, west side of town. The actual village is up here on the left. You can turn on Main Street and head right down into town, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to keep right on headed north. We've got about an hour and a half drive, I'd say, from here. Um, if the roads stay good. It looked a little snowy out there on the horizon, so, but I haven't ran into it, so maybe it's just fog. I got about 20 degrees this morning, so that makes me wonder if it's fog or not. Wind is blowing pretty hard. I don't know if you guys can see them flags going, but, so we got a pretty good crosswind. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is the big town of Boonville. Um, Oh yeah, one other thing about it here, up a little ways here, I'll show it to you. It is kind of cool. Actually, it's kind of cold. But we have uh, Mercer's ice cream, which is uh, uh, made right here. It's not, you know, shipped in or anything. And they do soft ice cream year-round. Not, not too many places do soft ice cream year-round. But Mercer's does. And... Uh, we stopped here last weekend or whenever it was that it was warm there those few days. Yeah, it was on the weekend. It was on Sunday, I think. It was a nice day. And uh, we stopped and uh, had an ice cream, you know, which is kind of fun to do uh, in February. Uh, but yeah, right up here. I don't know if you guys are getting that in the shot or not. yellow sign right there that's Mercer's so anyway I'm gonna shut you off I'll turn you back on when we get a little bit closer if I see something really cool then we'll get you on again so see you in a bit okay guys we're coming up into uh, Lawville New York um, everybody gets it pronounced wrong. It's uh, it's actually like Lao when you pronounce it. It's a Ow instead of an O, but it's spelled L O W. So everybody goes, Oh, it's Lowville. Well, no, it's not Lowville, it's Lowville. And uh, all the local people, if you say it fast, it comes out Lawville. So that just sounds then like, you know, I fought the law and the law won, that kind of thing. So um, anyway, uh, not a lot in between Boonville and Lawville, Port Leiden, Greg, a couple little towns. Um, but this town here, kind of known for uh, its uh, craft food. You know, you guys heard of craft, macaroni and cheese, right? Well, craft here, they produce all the uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. So those packages of Philly cream cheese, that's all made in this plant that you're seeing right now, um, straight ahead basically. Um, that is uh, Kraft Foods, pretty big employer, probably the biggest employer uh, in this town. Um, I'm not turning the camera, there's a Walmart to my left, but you get the idea. 
one of the other things that's up here that's still going and I don't know if it's the only place I know this is the only place they make uh, cream cheese um, that Kraft makes cream cheese but one of these buildings up here about another um, quarter of a mile here over here in this corner flip you around here a little bit um, let's see here where is it I haven't been to town in a while oh yeah up here behind the Arby's you see that building there that building right there is uh, AMF um, bowling pins so and I'm pretty sure they're still in production and they're still making yeah there's still lumber out there I can see the lumber in the yard so they still still make uh, Quebeca AMF uh, bowling pins um, so at least they kept that after buying everything back in the 70s you guys know AMF actually owned Harley Davidson too so um, but yeah anyway this is uh, right through the dead center of uh, the big big town of Lawville oh, uh, there's a hospital here um, I've been to it several times to get stitches and uh, <laughs> all those other things you get a lot faster service it's about um, probably 40 minutes from my house while it's about 30 minutes south if I go to Utica so um, but then when you go to Utica you got to be stuck waiting you know in the emergency room and up here the emergency room is a lot faster so just something to know you know if you guys are traveling through this neck of the woods and you know happen to give yourself a paper cut or something and you need a, a stitch or two uh, these guys are a lot faster so um but yeah this is Lawville so I'll bring you guys back in when we get a little bit farther and uh, we're not quite halfway there yet hey guys <clears throat> we're coming into uh, Krogan New York and if any of you have ever uh, had Krogan bologna uh, this is where it is made uh, I know it's kind of a I think a, uh, it, it's basically around this area I've never uh, I've never really seen it anywhere else but um, there's actually recipes to make your own version of it online uh, but the Krogan bologna is uh, from this town right here uh, this is the village of Krogan and uh, it's a uh, it's a sausage it's uh it, it's kind of uh, you know it's about two inches in diameter it's a ring uh, it's got special seasonings and stuff I've always said that uh, you get a ring of Krogan bologna and a package of cheese curd and a six pack of beer and you got yourself a upstate New York redneck Thanksgiving right there so um, snow looks to be about maybe six inches up here uh, we're getting a little bit farther away from uh, where the epicenter of that nor'easter came in so uh, they still got a little bit of snow though anyway uh, we'll bring you back uh, a little later and uh, we're about oh I don't know maybe 45 minutes out something like that hey guys that again well guess where we are we are in uh Oswagachi Oswagachi hi this is Josh hi. Uh, I just bought this boat motor we just run the compression test on it we had 100 pounds in the top cylinder and about 85 maybe 90 uh, give or take wet in the bottom cylinder so I'm thinking that it's gonna be okay so rings might be a little stuck run it a little bit and it'll come back to life so uh i want to thank you uh we'll see you around yes. good and, luck uh, thanks bye yes sir hi guys well i just got out on the main road here and we're going to start heading her home probably going to take about a uh, hour um hour and a half roads were real good 
So uh, we'll shoot for a little while and then we'll uh, shut you guys off. Maybe we'll see a, a moose or maybe a Sasquatch. A Sasquatchy and Aswagachi. What do you think about that? Okay, let's roll. guys we're coming into uh, Harrisville and there's a little steward shop up here so uh, I think I'm gonna get a cup of coffee uh, you guys want anything let me know I'm buying I didn't spend all my money pretty close back okay guys I, I can't I can't give it to you it's not gonna I'll drink it for you let me tell you anything good yeah not bad okay guys what you're looking off on to right now off in the horizon there I think you guys can see it is uh, the uh, Tug Hills, Tug Hill Plateau. Basically, you go up there to the, about the skyline is the edge of that, and then that goes pretty much flat all the way over to, uh, well, Route 81 and then Lake Ontario. And that's the reason why we get so much snow over here on this side, is because of that hill. Um, all that cold, air comes down out of Canada and swishes across Lake Ontario and it comes right over and uh, the, the plateau is cold, picks up the moisture and then dumps it as soon as it comes off the other side. 
loads it right in here. So that's why we get all the snow. But we're coming back into Lawville now. So uh, we're only about 45 minutes from home. Actually, this is New Bremen, but it's a suburb of Lawville. <laughs> suburb, which is pretty funny. Um, anyway, you can join the ride. Hey guys, up here is kind of an interesting uh, little uh, parking area they got. And you can kind of see the progression uh, straight ahead in the middle of the road here. You'll see the uh, um, lock system from the Black River Canal. Over here, you guys might even actually see the Black River. So now you have the lock system. So kind of the progression of transportation. The river, you know, was the main parts of transportation, you know, back in the Indian time. And then, you know, they built this lock system here. And, uh, you know, which is still in awesome shape. There's no mortar or anything between them stones. And uh, it still hold, would hold water. It'd probably work if you had the wooden gates back in it. And then, uh, we have the road right here, you know, the main road, and then you also have up here, if I can get a good shot of it, um, pointed over this way, up, you can kind of see this line of snow there, I don't know if you guys can make it out or not, let's see if we can get down here a little farther, right up there on that hill is uh, the, uh, the railroad. So, you can tell that this was kind of a main corridor for transportation, um, you know, still is. A lot of truck traffic, so, anyway, thought you might be interested in that. Right there's the railroad tracks that I was telling you guys. There's a good shot of them. They're right outside your window. Um, so, you got the railroad, you got the main road we're driving on, and uh, the canal actually is right in between us. So, this part of it right here would be, I think we're in the canal right now, the road is. So, yeah, definitely. This is, we're in the canal. Right there's a uh, half of a lock. See, right there's the lock. So we were in the canal, and the train tracks are there, and the road is here, and the river's on the other side. So guys, we're uh, getting a little closer to home, and uh, thought I'd flip the camera back on, and uh, kind of take you down into town to show you the uh, sprawling mecca of uh, Forceport. Uh, again, another town that was built around the wood industry. Um, you know, that was what we had here was a lot of trees. So, um, we're just passing the elementary school right now. It's uh, Adirondack Central School. Elementary, Forceport Elementary, and uh, I'm gonna turn up here by the old boat shop, take you guys down into town, show you the the double bridges. That was kind of our claim to fame, I guess. They went out a few years ago, and uh, they uh, we paid a boatload of money, literally, to get these things put back in again but so man I can smell the two-stroke oil you guys can see the scratches in the road up here from the snowmobile carbines right there's the sleds over here to our right is the mill pond over here and uh, see the ice is coming out pretty well down here below is the double bridges and uh, 
as you can see it's a single lane double bridge and then the dam which I'm going to have to unhook you guys for there's the the dam the water's coming down over pretty good so get you up there a little higher I don't know a little lower I don't know which way is better for you but anyway that's downstream the water's going pretty good so we just came across the double bridges and uh, we're headed up this way up here ahead is Scooter's Tavern. Yes, we do have a bar in town. That's that building right there. Wasn't going to go that way because there's not much to say. Four Sport Diner. A couple churches. So, got a church. Got another church. Uh, we got another church. <laughs> we actually missed the Catholic Church that's up behind me we went up past scooters and uh, that church there doesn't work anymore it's somebody bought it put a junk shop in it post office there's the overpass with route 28 that road shoots right up and goes up into Old Forge and uh, Over here is the mill pond. A lot of people think this is Cayuta Lake. It is not Cayuta Lake. It is the mill pond. Um, there's a dam up farther on the Black River and then from the on more towards the right side and on the left side uh, the little Woodhall Creek comes in and feeds it also. So you got two two sources there. But that's uh, there's some fishing in there, a lot of pickerel, nothing great. Some bass, maybe getting the right spot. So we're almost home. It's been a little little trip for us. I hope you guys enjoyed riding along. And uh, oh, I see the snow slid off my roof. So. That looks a little better. So. so, I think I'll park out here. And uh, I gotta build an engine stand, I think, to mount that motor on, something quick. And then we gotta carry it down cellar. I think I'll have you guys set up on a tripod so you can watch me uh, drop it down the stairs I almost did that with the other one so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and commenting and again I hope you enjoyed the ride bye